everybody. Today we're going to review area. Now in this video we're going to do lots of different shapes so they're all mixed up, just different mixed shapes. We're first going to start with quadrilaterals. Now quadrilateral starts with the prefix quad which means four. So any word that has quad as a prefix means four. So some examples would be a square, a rectangle, a rhombus, and a parallelogram. Now, um, I'm not going to get too technical with all, with all of this right now because this is also a rectangle. These are not rectangles. They are all parallelograms. So we're not going to talk about definitions right now. Just know that we're going to talk about a four-sided figure. In order to find the area, all you have to do is, here's the formula, area equals base times height. And that's it. I don't necessarily use length times width. I like base times height because I use that all the time. So you could do the base times the height or length times width. It's the same thing. So let's look at this one. This has a base of one, two, three, four, five units. Okay, so it's five little squares across. Let me do my five a little bit better. Oh man. Okay, so that has five units. Now our height would be one, two, three. So if we were to plug these in, area equals the base, the bottom base is five, the height is three, so five times three is 15. And if I were to count the inside area, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we get 15. Now, so your final answer for the area would be 15, and in this case, if it was meters or centimeters or feet, let's say it's meters, you would do meter and then square it, put a little two, at the top. So that would be the answer, 15 meters squared. Now let's take a look at triangles. A triangle is basically, if you were to extend it, it's basically like a square or it's basically like um, a rectangle. So it looks like it's very similar. So we can use the same kind of formula. Area equals base times height. But I don't want the whole thing. I don't want base times the whole height. I just want half of it. I just want the little triangle part. So we're gonna just cut it in half. All right, so you do the same thing we did before. So let's look at this base. This base has one, two, three. So it'd be three. The height of it, this is the height. Now this is not the height. If your parent or guardian wanted to measure how tall you were, you wouldn't stand slanted. That'd be kind of weird. Uh, you'd stand straight up. So whatever's straight up is the height. And in this case, it's a three. All right, so for this problem, it would be base times height, so three times three is nine, but then you'd have to cut it in half. And nine divided into two parts is 4.5. So the area would be 4.5. Let's take one more look at a triangle. Here's a different type of triangle. And in this case, it doesn't give you a nice little uh, right triangle like this did with a little 90 degrees right here. Looks like an L, right? This gives a little bit of a different type of triangle. So in this case, they need to give us the height. And I'm gonna, let's see, um, I'm gonna go here. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the base is eight. And I'm not sure about the height. Um, actually, I am. One, two, three, four. I can count it. Ah, all right. And I'm gonna pretend they're centimeters. All right, to find the area, you would do area equals the base times height, just like normal, you know, parallelograms up here, the quadrilaterals but we're gonna to have to cut it in half because a triangle, there's two triangles in one um, rectangle. All right, so area equals the base, the bottom is eight, and the height of it is four. Oh, and I need my little 90 degree angle here so you know it's this is the height. Okay, that's four, and then we have to cut it in half. So area equals eight times four is 32, and then we're gonna cut that in half. So our final answer would be area equals 16. Now we do need a unit, and in this case it was centimeters. I'm running out of space, let me erase that real quick. So you'd have area equals 16, and it would be centimeters, and because it's area, you have to square the centimeter. And that would be your answer. All right, trapezoid is a little bit more complicated, and I'm gonna erase some of the triangles so I can have a little bit more space. Trapezoid um, is, um, it's a little bit more complicated. It's still quadrilateral, so it does have four sides, but it's not a rectangle because it doesn't have four corners that are 90 degree angles. 
And it's not a parallelogram because it, does, it doesn't have two sets of parallel lines. These are parallel. They go on and on and they'll never touch. But these two lines are not parallel because if I extend them, they will finally connect at some point. All right, so I would love to use the same formula. Base times height would be great. If we could use that, let me move it over a little bit. That formula is really easy. Base times height, I can remember it easily. Um, now we're gonna have to cut this in half. This almost looks like kind of like a triangle, a little bit like part of a triangle. So this will be the formula, except this base part is a little bit complicated because let's take a look at the trapezoid. Let me draw um, the height. I need the height somewhere. So this will be the height. And here's one base, it's called B1, and this is called B2. So you have two bases here. Unlike the other problems, like this one, where you just had this base, this bottom part, this bottom part, this bottom base part. Well, in this one, we actually have, we're gonna use two of them because they're different lengths. This one's really long and this one's really short. So we're gonna find the average of the bases. So if this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this one is one, two, three, it's about four. Didn't draw it quite right. Uh, nine and four, if you do the average of that, nine plus four is 13. And then if you cut that in half, you would get, um, I just turned out, uh, what did I say? 13 divided by two, I'm sorry, is 6.5. Is that what I said, 13? Let me make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, yes. Okay, so it'd be 6.5 average base. So here we go, area equals. There's an easier thing you can do though. All you have to do is do area of the base. Let me say that again, sorry. You're gonna do the base times the height and then divide it in two. So this is the formula you're gonna use. It's like the triangle base times height, divided by two, but in the, for this base, you have to write both of them in there. So you're gonna write the first base, and then you're gonna add the second base. And here's the average of them. If you do base one plus base two, and then divide by how many there are, there's two, that's finding the average base, okay? Now if that's a little bit too complicated, just remember, because there's two bases, you have to add them up. So it's gonna be a base plus a base, You'll times everything by the height and then divide by two. So area equals, um, let's pretend, oh, I already did it actually. The base is, the top base was three. The bottom base, do you guys remember what it was? I think it was a nine. Was it a nine? I thought it was 13 earlier. Oh, goodness, hold on. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. I'll do redo this video later, I don't have time right now. But we're gonna divide by two and we're gonna times it by the height. Now the height is one, two, three. All right, I'm running out of space. I'm gonna have to erase this circle and come back to it. All right, so this is the problem we're gonna do right now. Actually, let me get paper. No. Oh, oh well, okay. Um, area equals, using the order of operations, you're gonna do three plus nine. Do whatever's in the parentheses first. So three plus nine is 12. So you're going to write area equals 12 times the 3 and then divide by 2. Okay, so all I did is I did 3 plus 9 is 12. I put that right there. I'm going to times it by 3 and then later divide by 2. So 12 times 3 is 36. Divide by 2. And you finally get the area of the trapezoid would be, um, my brain is turning off today, 18. 18. Now it would have to have some unit, so I'm just going to pretend it was meter. And anytime it's area, it doesn't matter what the figure is, you always square that answer. All right, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. There's other videos about trapezoids that you can look up so it's not too confusing. Okay, last thing we're going to talk about real quick is um, circles. Okay, and finding the area of a circle is the inside area. This we can't really count, it's kind of hard to count it. So we actually have to use a formula, area equals, we can't do base times height, we have to do pi r squared. And I do a whole nother video um, with this information. But we'll go, we'll do one more example. Let's say the diameter from the um, outside wall right here through the center to the other side 
let's say that is 18, um, 18 meters. All right, looking at that, we know the radius and the diameter. Now the long diameter that's from one side to the other side through the center is 18, and the radius is from the center out. So half of 18 would be nine. If this was nine and this was nine, if you add them up, you would get the 18. So the radius would be nine. All right, area equals pi times radius squared. So we know what the radius is, it's nine. Area equals pi, nine squared, nine times nine is 81. So the final answer is area equals 81 pi. Now that's one answer if they want an exact answer because that uses all the digits of pi. But if they want an estimated answer, you would actually have to do a little bit more math. This is approximately, let me erase this so you guys don't focus on just that. Hold on one second. All right, so instead, if you wanted an estimated answer, you would do 81, and then instead of this irrational number that goes on and on forever, you would estimate it to be 3.14. 3.14. All right, so area is approximately, let me get my calculator real quick, and I'm going to do, on my calculator, um, 81 times, hold on, 81 times 3.14. And my answer is approximately 254.34. Now, in this case, I have the pi right here, so I don't need to write pi. And my unit is meters squared. So that would be the estimated answer. And I forgot up here, I always do that because I have this, this letter here. I always think it's um, the unit. It's not the unit. I need meters squared right there, too. So again, this is the exact answer using pi, exact. And this is like, ah, oh, it's a roundabout, because I'm, I'm rounding this. This is an estimated answer to find the area of circles.